Hello, today we're opening up this Charizard EX um, big box, I guess you could call it. I don't know what you'll call it. Premium collection. That's what it says down here, premium collection. Um, so yeah, not sure what we really get in this. Originally, when I was looking at the pictures online, um, I thought this was like going to be like a special promo pack like they do in um, the Japanese sets, but no, it's not. I'm just going to open this. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's like a card holder almost. Anyway, a lot of things to talk about on this one. Um, been looking on Reddit at some of the openings, not really the openings, but like people's reactions to this. It's been pretty mixed. I've seen some people get some good stuff and some people get some not so good stuff. Um, obviously, my luck is horrible. And Reddit is like a little bit of an interesting place because obviously people on there are only really going to post if they actually get something good. You know, hardly anyone, or at least from my case, you know, gets something good. So, okay. What is this? Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, okay. So I guess this is what you're supposed to put the Charizard card into, but I will not be doing that. And then what? This just goes in... No? Like that? I guess so. Interesting. And then we got some card sleeves here. Not as cool as I was hoping. They're very, very basic. Printing quality is quite pathetic on this one, actually. It looks all right on camera, but in person, these ones look like, yeah, not great, not great. Okay, time to have a look at our packs, and then we can get into some promos. So we've got some Obsidian Flames, two Padilla Evolved, and two Scarlet Violet. So it seems like a pretty basic set, no randomness to that one. Um, and then we'll look at some promos. So one thing I did want to mention was that, I don't know if, you know, if you haven't been paying attention, that's all right. If you're new to the channel, that's also um, that's also all right. But um, so this is a Charmeleon, one of our not a promo, maybe like an additional card. It could just be part of the card set. So we've got Charmander here, and then we got the big boy Charizard EX here. So this is the first. Like we don't really. The only time I ever get Charizard cards is when I buy these special premium collections because we never actually pull them through a regular. Um, booster pack. Maybe we got two Obsidian Flames. Maybe we can, um, maybe we can this time. So this one is a promo. The other two Charmander, Charmeleon cards were not promos. Um, I'm not sure if they're additional set or they're part of the regular set, but yeah. Um, so that's quite cool, I guess. Okay, now on to the packs. So let's start with the worst. Scarlet Violet. Base set is always the worst, unless it's like the original base set, then it's the best. But other than that, you know, who cares about base set? How do I manage to do this? Alright. Code card. Um, energy. Fighting. Alright. Uh, let me just move some things around. Alright. Magic Carp. Magnemite. Some grass thing. Laser Beam. Drifflebim. Nest Ball. Something that's hard to pronounce. And then we have a reverse holographic Mankey. Or Mankey. Depending on how you want to pronounce that one. Uh, Buzel. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then a holographic Hortula. And then I was just noticing. Look up. Look up here. I'll try to get it on camera. Look at the H-A-W there. It's like smudged. Not to mention how offset this card is. Look at that. Well, that side compared to this side, but like the H A W. Look at that. It's like smudged. That was a uh, bad holographic. That's not even like. That's a yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know. Getting rid of darkness energy. Tropius, Pokeball, Rotom. Nice. Pow Pad, Jock, uh, Floragato, EXP Share, <sighs> Ketotl, Setotl, I don't know, Crushing Hammer, and then Houndstone on the end with another really bad off cut, must have been the whole, um, all the packs from that factory. Oh gee, how... Sometimes I can open them really well. Other times, well, let's be honest. Almost every time I don't open them very well. But I swear sometimes it's just easy. You just like 
you just rip. But these, these ones you can't, I don't know. Is everyone else having troubles with these? I haven't actually watched a lot of other openings recently. Um, but... A bit of a steel energy. Uh, Shrudel. Glimit. Bramblin. Shinx. Nutsack. Core Squire. Jet energy. And then we got an Amazon Amazon delivery drone in reverse. Ooh, Pikachu. That's quite cool. I think I think on the reverse holo is probably going to be one of the more expensive ones. So that's that's always good. Pikachu is always more expensive. Um, ooh, speaking of Pikachu, we got a Pikachu EX. That is fantastic. I was speaking about like sort of not really getting any pulls or this set, not having any really good cards. This probably now I don't. I don't remember the entire set list, but this is probably one of the better cards we could have gotten. Um, well, it's not a secret rare, so maybe not. It's only number 63 of 193, so potentially this card is, is good. I'm happy with it. I'm really loving the um, the star the star pattern that these uh, EX holographics have. Um, quite nice. I, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. I do complain a lot about the holographics, especially the reverse hollows and um, the regular hollows this set is, in my opinion, compared to other sets, but... I still think those uh, those EXs are quite good. Alright, sorry sorry for so many um, cuts in the videos, guys. I am recovering from COVID, and I'm not coughing a lot, but uh, coughing a little bit. Um, it is what it is. Uh, combi, Glimit, something, Tandemos, Giacomo, I wonder if he's Italian, Talonflame, Heracross, uh, Digger Roth, some sort of sloth as a reverse, normal. And then we got the Italian again as a reverse, quite cool. And then Garganko as a holographic. Nothing special from that. Alright, Charizard time. It's Charizard time. Come on, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling it. Darkness energy. Turn it around. Volpix, Phantom, I've got a cough again, Weeper, Buzil, Gumshoes, Pupitar, Togetic, Combi as a reverse, Electros as a second, and then Toxtricity as a holographic. So nothing on this one. I'm pretty sure we've even pulled this one before. I, was, I know I have I know I have him. I don't know if we pulled him. I do buy a lot of random sets and collections, so I do know I have him. And more than one. But I don't know if we I'm pretty sure we've pulled him. I'm pretty sure. Steel energy. Flip it around. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, Tadbulb. Lechonk. Baboch. Wiglet. Some fire thing. Ortega. Uh, Volcano. Fungus. As our reverse. <gasps> Ooh. Guys, what did I say? What did I say? I said I was feeling it. Not quite what we were looking for, but it is a secret rare. 224 out of 197. Reva Room EX. This looks fantastic. And then on the end, Palafin Holographic. We'll just skip through that one. So Reva Room EX as our secret rare from this box. We've got one secret rare. One, sorry. Where? One secret rare and one... EX from the box, from the premium collection box. It's pretty pathetic, in my opinion, because it's quite an expensive box. But, I mean, we've got the, the holographic uh, promo secret rare as well, but still, that doesn't really count. Um, anyway, I wanted to mention something uh, on this card. Look at the centering on this bad boy. I've, I've talked about it all box, how bad the centering is, and this one is no exception. Um... I don't really care about centering too much. I, I mean, like, I do care, but, like, I don't care. Because, obviously, you know, I'm collecting these cards. I'm not selling them and graining them. So, it's not that, that big of a deal. But I would like them to be at least not super visible like this. I think that's I think that's a reasonable expectation, maybe. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments uh, your guys' thoughts on that one. And if you guys have, you know, had centering issues like this, too. Um, if you're new to the channel... If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next opening. Thank you.